After reaching Kappa and Lightkeeper on my main account, it was time for another playthrough. This time on the standard account with the tiny stash base and the few bits of gear that comes with it. Alright, I know where I am. I know there's a spot on my right there. Unfortunately for me, I quickly realized I couldn't build a Lego set made for 6 year olds without the help of my workbench and right after, I got my first warm welcome to Tarkov. Okay, so... This was a mistake. <laughs> um, yeah. In situations like that, you just have to take it on the chin, gear up, and get back out there again. And have a feeling this one will be great. Now... I don't really know where the fuck I am. Where the hell am I? My main concern is that I'm gonna blow myself up somewhere. Really hoping that's not gonna happen. Alright, let me see. If Go locate the Emercom thingy machine. What is up here? I never really got around to explore. I can't go up here, okay. Never got around to exploring Ground Zero, so I am pretty lost on this map. Door got me fucked up. Like a butter. One tops. And here's the problem that I was talking about. I don't have a CMS kit. So I'm stuck doing some limping now. I can't really prepare myself too extensively because or painkill too extensively because I'm gonna run out of hydration. Forgot to check my extracts. Nakatani, I don't know where Mira was or is. Is it Mira the player? Greedy as fuck, so yolo. I know there's med spawns around here. That's the thing, I don't know where the flare extract is, man. I'm not so sure, brother. Yeah, that's one med item, I need two more, right? Oh, we got a morphine as well. Thank you guys. I am blind as a bat. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. We got it right there. guys over there. Uh. Uh. Fucking scab. There's someone over there. Uh, 
I'm gonna die, but I need to bandage. Even running this is so fucking bad. Uh, la 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 la. This is. Why didn't he push me? Like I expected to get rinsed while running there. I know I messed up his friend. It seems like I did just enough damage to the first guy to stop them from engaging me. I decided to not stick around and find out though, as I have other business to attend to, such as finding the scientist's hard drive for mechanic. If I go back down there, let's see if I can remember to pick it up. Hello? Thought I heard someone. desk purple screen thank you now we are in what we call a bit of a pickle very low ammo so if someone comes up here I have to make my shots count I think I'm getting overrun by player scavs. I should probably get out, get out of here as soon as I can. That's not weird at all. I didn't even know there was a guy behind the door there. I don't think he can see my feet. There's two of them. I think it's the same two guys I saw before. Why is my screen twitching like that, bro? It's so annoying. I think this is the guy I saw before, though. Am I wrong? I really hope he has a decent amount of ammo. Cigarettes will need for bad habit later. Yeah, I'll take the Dushanka, leave me alone now. Why are you forcing so much pain on yourself? Huh? That is all Tarkov has to offer, my friend. What else is there? This therapist handing this stuff. I could use morphine later, but we can always find morphines. 
Now we gotta find Stalewas. Let's go. And in the drive. Almost forgot about the drive, actually. That raid gave us a nice start, which allowed us to snowball into a little bit of a winning streak. I went on to locate the machine gun and the grenade launcher on ground zero for Prepper in a completely dead night raid. After that, we went on to Woods to locate the letter for Mechanic, which would unlock Jaeger for us. But before I even got to that, I stumbled upon a body with some loot, which at the time meant big upgrades for me. After a little bit of looting, I went to check the plane crash for a Salewa, picked up the letter, and extracted successfully. The next few raids were pretty straightforward as well. Picked up a ton of loot from the med camp, eliminated some unaware PMC while trying to avoid Sturman at the sawmill, made it to extraction, but unfortunately, our winning streak came to a bitter end. Thank you, Tarkov. I love that. But it was not all bad. I ended up finding a machinery key on my scav, which is a single-use key required for our next quest from Prapper. Finding this allows us to completely avoid dorms where the key is usually found. But before we get to the truck, I decided to go take a look into the fortress for Iskras and other loot to fill our pockets. Don't have toilet paper in stash. Did I see a toilet paper somewhere? And I missed it again? That's the problem, like I've... My brain is ignoring all the stuff I need on low levels now. After playing on my main account for so long. Oh my god, bro. I didn't realize I'm gonna fucking scope into the future. I'm so broken now. I don't know how that fucking hit fire worked, but take it. Another guy, there's another team, I think. Fucking two man squad, bro. That rolled up. Houston, we have a problem. I'm out of arm stamina. That might also be considered it a problem. You can hear me ADS, but you know, it is what it is. I like guess it sounds like he's about to walk in and then it just doesn't appear. They definitely know I'm here. Hello. Hello, little friend. Hello, hello. Hey, man. I am level seven. I am scared. Hey, 
Did you want to make a pick? What? Just let us pass and you will be spared! You mother... We're gonna kill you all, bastards! That's broken here, bro. Hey, man. Please don't shoot me. Friendly, friendly. Well, I don't have. I don't know how I'm alive, first of all. I heard no fucking footsteps coming up to me. Yeah, yeah, just go, man. It's okay. Lol. I see. And just like that, the wind streak has turned into a chain of deaths. I decided to hop into our first night raid in hopes of grabbing the pocket watch and getting out in one piece. Good luck against cultists. Or imagine if I died to cultists, yeah. That would actually hurt me a little bit. I shall pick up the watch and I shall leave. I really don't want to die with this pocket watch because I would have to go dorms again. For the key, and then that's like another risky endeavor. But I need a couple of scavs to not get a run through if gas stations opened. My head had two health, by the way. Some would classify that as a bit of a problem. What the fuck? What do you shoot me with? I'm pretty sure I took like two clean hits in the head. I do not want to find out. After a little bit of looting and fighting scavs, we made it out in one piece and handed over the pocket watch. It was now time to jump back in and do one of the hardest early game quests in Tarkov. Delivery from the past. This quest requires us to go pick up a package from the director's office on customs. Find a way out of the raid and then go to factory to stash it. If I die in between the pickup and the stashing, I have to start again from scratch. Shit. I think I heard another one. I would love to loot him, but... West item plus... Body in a very bad spot. Someone's looted this. But it's definitely worth it, yeah. Mate, I was just about to roll off the tongue. I haven't heard shots here. I think it's safe. And then I heard a fucking nade dropping right next to me. <laughs> what are the odds? This guy's been... 
hurting people. Level 4 plates. I don't want that. I don't know why he needed me like that. That is a pretty questionable decision. Boy, CMS. I've been looking for that thing for a long time now. Oh, perfect. Literally cannot get a better, better spawn. Epilepsy factory over here. Oh wow. Did you just. Oh wait. I gotta survive an extract. I forgot that was a thing. After that little mistake, I went back into a night raid on factory, survived the raid to complete the quest, which allowed us to get further down the quest line. This time it is BP Depot. Mark 4 fuel tankers on customs for prepper. I say. Right after marking the first tanker, though, things got a little out of hand. Stop reloading. Hello. What? Depends on how fast you want to get back to the lobby. Where's your friends? Oh, you're muffled. Where is your friend? I'm asking. What? Oh, there was another guy. <laughs> I wasn't sure it was the, if there was another guy. Fuck. I definitely didn't hear two guys right there. To be honest, if I didn't have any trust issues from my previous encounters in Tarkov, I probably could have talked my way out of it. But it is what it is. We still have three more tankers left that we have to mark. But as usual, there is always something, or rather, someone, that gets in the way of our questing. This guy scared the fuck out of me, brother. Three pointer for my boy Kobe. Doesn't get much better than that. It's just fucking sitting there, bro, in the middle of the tracks. Not gonna lie. I feel like uh, that guy might have killed one of them. The fact that that guy was still on the tracks makes me think his legs are out. I don't see him anymore. Damn, Ivans! Why 
One guy's dead here. Fight. That was fucking terrible. Don't shoot me. I wanted to stand up, but I couldn't stand up for some reason. Also, I don't have anything for uh, heavy bleeds. Open this guy or something. You just hold... You hold the bind. If your first aid kit is on number four, you just hold but hold down number four and use your scroll wheel. Oh, they need the army. Can't you just have what I need? Surely this guy has something, right? I should have checked the PMC straight up, but I was afraid that the fucking sky was still there. Also, I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. What is blood? What is blood doing? Honestly, I can't even hate on any vegan options on anything. I literally just don't try them. I've never tried anything vegan. At least that I know of. And not intentionally. But like vegan meat just sounds weird. some good stuff after completing bp depot we headed out to woods to look for our last salevo salevo it had been far too long and we had to get some progress on therapist fortunately we ended up finding one in a completely dead raid and after completing shortage i was in need of a dorm 206 key here you go 206 and gas analyzers all right i decided to go do a quick scab run factory in hopes of finding the key in one of the jackets or cabinets but things took an unexpected turn. Dude has a problem with skill. <coughs> I just empty gun as well. I didn't realize. This. I decided to just wing it on customs. Do a quick run to dorms in hopes of scooping the 206 key out of one of the jackets over there and complete the quest. But getting the dorms off of the big red spawn is never easy.
Oh shit, I thought it was gonna be right underneath me at the at the wall there. Forgot to bring money for car. It's audible, yep. Oh, how far? I I don't know how far. Level 17 with, with a juicer kit, man. This man was stacked. Do some prodding, boys. One, two, three is a quest key. We like it. Should have emptied out the ammo, but fuck it. This the, yeah, this fucking site has like ghosting around. It's fucking weird. I don't like it at all. For fuck's sake. If I lose the CMS man, I'm gonna be sad. I don't wanna lose the intel either. Okay, now let's go. Hey, throw this out for now. Just have to go run into 206 real quick. And then I can get rid of the key. I did a little more looting in the two-story dorms after completing the quest. But unfortunately, I did not have enough money on me for the car extract. So I had to take a walk across the map. But before I could even begin my journey, I met this unfriendly gamer doing setup. S skill problem. You are done. Get the fuck out of my server, little bro. I'm glad you whiffed, man. Would have been annoying to dive to that. I need to get that shot because I'm low on ammo now. Can you guys just not come here, please? Imagine Tarkov had a blunderbuss. <laughs> that would be funny though. And this marks the end of our adventure for now. Here are the stats after 22 raids. Let me know if you would like to see more videos on this character in the future. Or if you have any feedback in general, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear it all. Thank you for watching my friends. Hope you have a great day. Take care.